The Bust and Legend of William Oxley Thompson. If you've ever taken a walk through Ohio State's campus, chances are good that you've walked by a building or statue that bears the name of William Oxley Thompson. A familiar face to many students, Thompson served as president of the university from 1899 to 1925. Today, in 2017, students still have an interesting relationship with his memory. Inside the east entrance of OSU's main library, the William Oxley Thompson Library, there is a bronze bust of the past president. Here you can see an image of the bust resting on its wooden pedestal, situated in front of the gray security detectors that lead into the main entrance of the library. Legend among students has it that rubbing the head of the bust as you pass will bring good luck on exams. Here we can see students participating in this ritual as they walk out. The president left almost a century ago, long before any of the current students enrolled. So, why do students participate in this ritual? What about this bust invites people to interact with it? It sits in a prominent location, the main entrance of the library. However, I knew that this couldn't be the only reason for the legend or the friendly familial gesture of patting the bust on the head. So I did some research. According to Ohio History Central, Thompson, whose larger than life statue we see here, placed on the western end of the oval in front of the Eponymous Library, was influenced by progressivism and believed in a more wholesome definition of education that really impacted the lives of students. During his term, he brought the total enrollment of the university from around 1,000 to over 14,000 students. He also founded the College of Education. For all of these reasons, it is believed that he was well liked by students and faculty alike. It's no wonder that after the 1951 renovation, the library was dedicated to Thompson. I believe that the fondness of the students for this particular present president may be the origin of the good luck story surrounding his bust. Statues and legends about Thompson can be found in more than one place on Ohio State's campus. Here, we see the statue of Thompson looking over the oval as students walk across campus. The presence of his name and his image around the library reinforced the idea that he was a scholar, and the fact that they're still around almost 100 years later shows that his memory still affects students, maybe in more ways than one. The information in this video was found on president.osu.edu, fisher.osu.edu, library.osu.edu, and ohiohistorycentral.org. Full links to all of the websites can be found in the About section of this video. All photos and voiceovers by Brady Costigan.